<laughs> Actually, we're going to go go 355. Go 355, and we'll do 6114. 355. Quran 355. Alhamdulillah. Did you mean Quran 3? Oh, yeah, you did mean that. Okay. Wow. Surah 3, verse 55. Surah 3, verse 55. 55. Here. All right. So. Sahih International, let's go ahead and read a couple of uh, translations here. Sahih International mentioned when Allah said, Oh, Jesus. So this is Allah speaking to Jesus before Jesus is taken to heaven. When Jesus, when, when Allah said, Oh, Jesus, indeed, I will take you and raise you to myself and purify you from those who disbelieve and make those who follow you in submission to Allah alone superior to those who disbelieve until the day of resurrection. Then to me is your return, and I will judge between you concerning that in which you used to differ. Now, notice what Allah says here. Keep in mind, this is Allah speaking to Jesus in the first century. So, and according to the Quran, Jesus actually won Muslim followers, right? He, he went out preaching Islam. He's saying, hey, everyone, believe in God. And people are saying, oh, yeah, we'll convert to, to your new religion that we're totally unfamiliar with, right? So, Jesus wins followers who claim that they are Muslims. Now, Allah speaks to Jesus because Allah lets Jesus know, hey, I'm about to take you out of here and your followers are going to be left behind. And Jesus is wondering, the Islamic Jesus is wondering, oh no, what's going to happen to all my followers? Watch. Allah says, oh Jesus, indeed I will take you and raise you to myself and purify you from those who disbelieve and make those who follow you, and then they add in parentheses to emphasize that these guys are Muslims in submission to Allah alone, those who follow you superior to those who disbelieve until the day of resurrection. So Jesus has Muslim followers, according to Islam. Uh -huh. And then Allah promises Jesus that it, he, Allah, Allah himself is going to protect those followers until the day of resurrection. That's a long time, isn't it, AP? That's a, that's a long time. He's going to protect the true followers of Jesus until the day of resurrection. All right, yeah. one more verse. Surah 61, that is verse 14. So Allah is going to protect Jesus' followers. Uh, yeah, Surah 61, verse 14. So Allah is going to protect Jesus' followers until the day of resurrection. <laughs> oh, you who believe, be supporters of Allah, as when Jesus, the son of Mary, said to the disciples, who are my supporters for Allah? The disciples said, we are supporters of Allah. And a faction of the children of Israel believed, and a faction disbelieved. So some of the followers believed in Jesus. They became Muslims, right? Mm -hmm. Then Allah says, so we supported those who believed against their enemy, and they became dominant. <laughs> Did you catch what? that, AP? Yeah, Did yeah, you yeah. Catch that? <laughs> <laughs> so Muslims who are watching, please, please understand the point. I beg you, if you're, if, uh, we know you just want to, some of you just want to like, you know, rah, 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 we're so strong. Oh, we strong. Uh, we know some of you want to do that. Pay attention here. This is very, very important. According <laughs> to the Quran, we saw in 355, Allah's about to take Jesus away and he says, don't worry, I'm going to protect your followers until the day of resurrection. He says right here, Surah 61, verse 14, there were people who believed in Jesus. There were people who didn't believe in Jesus. Allah said, Allah said that he takes the people who believe in Jesus and makes them dominant. The, yeah. the, the, believe, the true believers in Jesus, Allah makes that group dominant. Now, why is this relevant? Well, here's a quick question. Which <laughs> which followers of Jesus became dominant? The devout Muslim followers of Jesus who didn't believe he died on the cross, didn't believe he's right, he rose from the dead, didn't believe he's God, the son of God. They believed he's just a devout Muslim prophet. They are so, if there were, if there were, hypothetically, hypothetically, if there were Muslim followers of Jesus, they were so incredibly insignificant that we have no reference that they even existed. They made no really impact whatsoever on the world. And yet Allah is saying here that they became dominant, the true followers of Jesus. So here's the problem. Either the followers of Jesus that we heard about are the true followers of Jesus, in which case Islam is false, or there were followers of Jesus who were Muslims and they completely di died out, and in which case 
Islam is false because Islam says the true followers became dominant. They would they didn't become dominant if they got crushed by the apostle Paul or someone else. So this is just, it, there's no way out of this, guys. Muslims, there is no way out of this. The Quran has a completely incoherent picture. Guys, you want to do something funny? You want to do something hilarious? Go to, uh, I'm sure many of you have a Yusuf Ali Quran that has Yusuf Ali's commentary. Go to Yusuf Ali's commentary on this verse, Surah 61, verse 14. Surah 61, verse 14. Go to Yusuf Ali's commentary. Not the verse. You got the commentary. Oh. Um, I could actually, I, I can just tell people what it says. Um, Yusuf Ali says in his commentary on this verse, which you can get in, in the Yusuf Ali, uh, in the most common Quran I see being given out in mosques and so on. Look at his commentary. He says that this reference here, those, uh, the true followers of Jesus became dominant. He said this refers to the Christians who took over the Roman Empire. They became dominant. <laughs> Here's a problem. Hey, AP. <laughs> this is brilliant, actually. The, the Christians who the Christians who took over the Roman Empire. <laughs> did they a believe in Jesus' death, resurrection, and deity and the, the divine trinity, or B, <laughs> were they devout Muslims? <laughs> Wait a minute. According to the Quran, which ones were the true followers of Jesus? Which ones became dominant? Well, the true followers of Jesus became dominant. Well, what does it mean to become dominant? Well, you took over the Roman Empire. You became super powerful. You became more powerful than the people who were persecuting you. What did they believe? That Jesus is the divine son of God who died on the cross and rose from the dead. Those are the true followers of Jesus, right? Yeah, according to the Quran. What do Muslims say? No, 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 no. Those are, those are the false followers of, of, <laughs> of Jesus. Why they? Why were they dominant? They're not supposed to be. The Quran says they're not dominant, right? What's going on here? <laughs> Guys, Muslims, there is no way to make sense. If you can actually make sense of what the Quran says in just a few verses, if you can actually make sense, give us a coherent picture of Jesus. So here's what you have, AP. You've got Jesus in the Quran, and he's he's got all these miracles, and Allah, for some reason, is really obsessed with making Jesus the most miraculous person in the entire history of humanity, right? He wants to make Jesus really, 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 really miraculous. And then he just decides, hey, I'm going to take you out of here, and they're going to think they killed you, and I'm not going to explain it till 600 years later that you didn't actually die. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to let people, I'm just going to let all your followers think that, even though they're going to build Christianity out of that. But Allah is sitting here thumping his chest going, ha, huh, Jesus, you, you're you not worried, are you? You know that as soon as I take you up here, I'm taking over. I'm going to protect your followers until the day of resurrection. I'm going to protect them until they become uppermost, until they become dominant. They're going to be dominant. They're going to be strong. Everyone who disagrees with them is going to be finished, boy. They'll all be finished. Your guys are going to be, are going to be dominant. And we, we listen to what Muslims say. Hey, Muslims, tell us what happened. Oh, you know, uh, Jesus won a few followers, but then the apostle Paul came along and crushed them all and wiped them all out. And there were just, you know, these corrupt Christians left over. That's not what Allah says. Everything you say, <laughs> all I'm hearing is Allah is completely incompetent or a liar. Which one is he? Put, put, put it this way. Either Allah knows that the true followers of Jesus didn't win and that the people going around preaching Christianity were people who believed in his death, resurrection, and deity. And they're not Muslims. Either Allah knows this, either Allah knows that the true followers of Jesus were wiped out and then this corrupt version was spread. Either Allah knows this and he's lying about it because he's thumping his chest. Oh, yeah, mm, yeah, me protect them, me protected them. Either Allah knows this and he's lying or Allah doesn't know it and he's completely ignorant. <laughs> Which one is it? He's either ignorant or he's deceptive over and over and over again. And once again, Muslims, if I were you, I'd say deceptive just because he, he constantly brags about being the best of deceivers and so on. And so what you should be saying is, ah, Allah got everyone right here. He tricked people into believing that Jesus died on the cross, deceiving literally billions of people over the centuries. And then he tricked, he even tricked Muslims into thinking that Jesus had all these true followers of Islam who, who ended up taking over and becoming dominant. Allah just did a great job tricking everyone. This is why I say that, that Allah sounds more like Loki than he sounds, you know, like the, the, the source of all goodness and so on. Yeah, he's mischief doer. This was, this was so good, David. <laughs> this was so good. Uh I have to be very honest. I didn't think I would say this, but you know, I, I, I do think that the Quran is very stupid and very ignorant and very laughable when you look at it. 
but I never caught this detail. I never paid attention to this. I never noticed this, never never really saw this, what you just did here. This is a brilliant point. And after hearing this, after hearing these verses and your commentary on it. You think it's dumber I, now? <laughs> I think that it is even dumber. I think that the Quran is even dumber than that, even more laughable than I thought it was. And I never thought I would say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I'd come up to you before this show and I said, by the end of the show, you're going to think Islam is even dumber than you thought before. You'd have been like, come on, man, there's no way. Right? No, now I'm totally convinced it is much dumber than I thought. Seriously, man, what the? <laughs> this is brilliant. This is brilliant. I really I really would like to see response this, responses to this. I would really like to see how Muslims get out of this.